Ebola patient Dr. Kent Brantley says God save my life. Nancy Wright Ebel and Dr. Kent Brantley have been cured of the Ebola virus and released from Emory Hospital in Atlanta. Brantley, 33, called his recovery a miraculous day. I am thrilled to be alive, to be well, and reunited with my family, he said. He also told a news conference at Emory Hospital that, God save my life. Both patients were given blood and urine tests to determine whether they still had the virus Emory doctors said in a statement released this morning. What's happening now in the Ebola outbreak? American doctor with Ebola received experimental antibody serum before U.S. arrival. How did Ebola patients get experimental serum? After a rigorous course of treatment Foster and testing we have determined the store in that Brantley has recovered the from the Ebola virus disease and he can return to his family, to his community, and to his life without any public health concerns, Dr. Bruce Ridner, director of MRS Infectious Farms, Disease Unit, said today. Years. Always natural, Brantley always said that fresh. when Wright Ebola left the hospital on Tuesday, she asked him to speak on her behalf to the public and express gratitude for prayers on her behalf. When she walked out of the room, all she could say was to God be the glory, Brantley recalled. Nancy and her husband, David, are now spending some much-needed time together. Wright Ebel's husband said in the statement that his wife left the hospital in a significantly weakened condition. We are tremendously pleased with Dr. Brantley and Mrs. Wright Ebel's recovery, Ribner said. All of us who have worked with them have been impressed by their courage and determination. Their hope and faith have been an inspiration to all of us. Ribner emphasized that though there is public fear and anxiety about Ebola, there is no threat to public health with the patient's release. He also said that the decision to bring Brantley and Wright Ebel to America for treatment would help push forward the research and knowledge about how to treat Ebola wherever it is contracted. Brandley contracted the deadly virus while working in a Liberian Ebola ward with the aid agency Samaritan Espers. He was evacuated to the U.S. earlier this month along with Wright Hebel. I never imagined myself in this position, Brantley said. We treated our first Ebola patient in Liberia in June. When she arrived we were ready. On Wednesday, July 23, I woke up feeling under the weather and then my life took an unexpected turn as I was diagnosed with Ebola. As I lay in my bed in Liberia for nine days, getting sicker each day, I prayed God would help be more faithful in even in my illness, and that in my illness or even death he would glorified, Brantley said. Brantley is the first ever Ebola patient to be treated in the U.S. and the first human to receive the experimental serum known as MAP. According to reports, Brantley's condition deteriorated so quickly that doctors in Africa decided to give him the drug in a last-ditch effort to save him. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmean.webs.com.